Hello beautiful ladies and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about the 10 items every girl needs in her makeup bag. So let's start off with primer. Primer I think is an absolute necessity because it keeps your makeup on all day and it creates a really solid base for everything else to go on top of. So one that I really like is by L'Oreal, it's their Magic Perfecting Base. And I think it's good for all skin types because it's just a silicone primer, which means it just fills in your pores. This one doesn't help so much with the longevity, but it definitely does help just to give you a really nice base to start off with because it makes you look poreless, which is lovely. The next thing I want to talk about is foundation. So foundation is what's going to even out your skin tone and just kind of be that second layer that's going to make your face look flawless. So we want to start with something that's matching our skin tone first of all, so be careful about what color you get. And then you also want to get something that's going to go with your skin type. So if you have combination skin, you're going to want something that maybe isn't super dewy or super matte. And if you have really oily skin, you probably want something matte because by the end of the day you're going to look dewy anyways. <laughs> I used to have really oily skin, so I kept buying all these dewy foundations and I would ask myself, why is my makeup just sliding off my face? And it was because I was using the wrong foundation for my skin. So I think if you are looking for something that matches your skin type, you'll do really well. One that I really like is the Healthy Foundation by Physicians Formula. You probably have seen me talk about this in most of my videos. And the reason I like this so much is because I have combo skin and it kind of deals with both ends of that. It's not too oily or too matte. It's just right in that perfect space of natural and I really enjoy it. The next item you need is concealer. So concealer is what you use after you've gone in with foundation and it's there to cover up any blemishes or to hide your dark circles and you can use foundation alone but if you have really bad under eye circles or let's say you have a lot of acne which I used to struggle with you might want a concealer in addition to foundation I think that concealer is usually a good policy so one of the things I'll say about concealer is that you can get one that's a shade lighter for under your eyes and that will make everything look a little bit brighter and make you look a little more awake but when you're going for a concealer that's to cover blemishes you want it to match your foundation exactly so you don't highlight those bumps that are on your face. So one of the ones that I really like is by L'Oreal and it's their True Match Super Blendable Multi-Use Concealer. I find that this doesn't really crease on me which is hard to find with a concealer and it can cover up blemishes as well as work under the eyes. The fourth thing you're going to want in your makeup bag is a powder. So you start with primer so that will give you a good base and then you put powder on top so it will help your makeup last all day. It kind of sets everything down. So there are a few different kinds you can get. You can get a pressed powder and that'll have a little bit more coverage or you can get a loose powder which will usually be more of a translucent powder and you can't really see it. It just helps with longevity. So one that I really like that's a loose powder is by Bare Minerals. It's their Mineral Veil Powder and I really like this because it kind of keeps my makeup in place all day but you can't really tell I have powder on because sometimes if you use the wrong powder you'll look very cakey and that's not what we're going for. So the next thing we're going to talk about is bronzer. Bronzer I think is a really nice addition to your makeup bag because it brings a little bit of life to your skin when you're looking a little pale or just kind of gives you a little bit more definition under the cheekbones. You can use it as a contour and I think that that's a really nice thing to have in your makeup bag. So the one that I like is the one that I used in a video a couple weeks ago uh, by Wet n Wild. It's their Color Icon Bronzer and I've really been enjoying this. I think I'm actually wearing it today <laughs> and I think it actually just brings a lot of color and life to the skin. The sixth thing I want to talk about is blush. So blush is going to go right on the apples of your cheeks and it's just going to make you look more awake, more alive, more fresh faced and I think you can get something that works with your skin tone and that'll really just give you that little extra oomph on your skin. One that I really like is by NARS and it's a blush duo so it has a blush and a highlighter so that'll kind of give you a little extra something in your bag, that 11th item. <laughs> but if you're just going to get a blush, um, this is a really nice one, it's Orgasm by NARS and it's really pretty on the cheeks. It has this very natural pink flush. So now that we're done with the face, we're going to move on to the eyes. I recommend having a brow gel. You can get one that has a little bit of color, you can get one that has no color and it's clear, 
but having something to hold your brows in place all day will be a really good thing for you. So if your eyebrows are more sparse, you can get something that will fill in your eyebrows. But if your eyebrows are a little bit more thick, you can get something translucent and it'll just hold them in place. So the one that I really like is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist. And this one is in clear, and I use this every day. I'm using it today. I fill in my brows a little bit just because I have a couple bald patches, but generally I don't have to do much to my eyebrows. So if you're not gonna get something that has color, I think that this is a really good option. The next thing I wanna talk about is an eyeshadow palette. And having an eyeshadow palette is nice because you have a lot of different options. So you don't just have to use your one eyeshadow all the time. Of course, if you're the kind of person that doesn't like choices, go ahead, get one eyeshadow, and just stick with that. But if you're the kind of person who likes to be able to play around a little bit, you might want an eyeshadow palette. So, the one that I really like is from L'Oreal, again. <laughs> and this is the Paradise Enchanted palette, and it smells really nice. It smells like, it smells like peaches. <laughs> And the nice thing about this palette in particular is that you can actually use a couple of these shades, this one and this one, um, as highlight on the tops of your cheekbones if you don't want to buy an, an additional highlight. The ninth item every girl needs in her makeup bag is a lipstick. Every girl kind of has a signature lipstick I think that they feel really good in and I think that that's a great thing to have in your makeup bag. So one lipstick that I really like is by MAC and it's in Velvet Teddy. This is a mini size and I just think it's a really nice natural nude that goes with any eye look, which I love. Last but not least, I want to talk about mascara. So mascara is a wonderful thing for makeup. It makes your eyes look so big with no effort. If you have no eyeshadow, no eyeliner, you should still put on mascara because your eyes will just look so much better. I sometimes think if I could only bring one makeup item to a desert island, what would I bring? It would be mascara. This is one of my favorites. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise. Again, it's L'Oreal. It gives your lashes a lot of volume and I really enjoy it. So definitely get a mascara. So those are the top 10 things you should have in your basic makeup bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what's in your basic makeup bag. Like what do you take with you on vacation, for example? Or if you're going to spend a night at a friend's house, or if you are just hopping on a plane and doing a weekend away. <laughs> what do you usually pack in a small little makeup bag? And what are your favorite products to use? I'd love to know. Please subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my blog, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.